Okay, there we go, we're in circle. Want to go and... Oh, there we go. Hello! 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 Hey. <laughs> Hello! Hey. <laughs> okay, well, it's time. We've given them two minutes to be late. Hey. Oh, Sarah Bunting's coming in. Fantastic. Hello, yeah, sorry, I couldn't, um, couldn't get my headset to, um, Hi, to register. Sarah. It's a bit slow you getting me logged here. in. Hi. Thanks. I could hear you, Josh. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Good Great. to know. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Great. Okay, so welcome everyone, and uh, welcome to Reflection. Sorry, I used reflection. the wrong voice. I'll use the I'll use the uh, voice of God. Welcome to Reflection. <laughs> That's my attempt to scare all of you. So we've got some time to reflect on the part of the past year, and uh, the plan is we're going to spend some time just looking at what's new, what's happened. Uh, we're going to break the year down. We're going to do some learn by sharing, so that we work in smaller groups talking about what we've really got out of the year. And then uh, we'll have an open discussion, lots of breakouts, because it's a nice, intimate group. And then we'll finish off with, um, with uh, we're trying to look at how we make the good stuff into a habit. So we'll show you something like action replay, so you understand how to re review things. And then we'll show you something called habits, which is a, a method from one of the geniuses of uh, persuasive technology, a chap called BJ Fogg, uh, which is how to build micro habits. So that's the plan, but it's totally free format. We haven't got guest speaker this uh, month, so you're going to have to do the guest speaking. Uh, and at that point, I'm going to suggest we go to Hopes and Fears, find out what everyone wants, and let's have some really good fun, but more importantly, let's learn some good stuff. So, oh, oh, round of introductions. Well, sorry, Chris. Sorry, Chris, can I bring you back? I just realized I haven't done a round of introductions. No, nobody Leo does it, you see, and I ended up doing it. Chris is too fast for me. So, um, I'm Eddie. I'm Eddie, and I forgot to do a round of introductions. James, do you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Hi, I'm James Stewart. Uh, first time into Cube, and I work with Burberry currently, so. <laughs> Brilliant. Jason? Yeah, I'm um, Jason from Uniface. Um, always love coming to Cube, and I'm um, looking forward to Christmas. <laughs> Jonathan. Hi, Eddie. Uh, I'm Jonathan from the Major Projects Knowledge Hub, um, and I'm feeling particularly good because I'm on my big screen, so I can actually see things today. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I recommend at least 40 inches. <laughs> Great, Josh. <Yeah. laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Cheeseman. As most of you know, I'm Cube Coordinator at Pentacle, which means if you have any questions about Cube during the session and you don't want to interrupt things, click the send a private text button below the people list and just ask me your question and I would be happy to help you out. Nice. Great. I'm James, I'm do you want to Jason. try that now? Yeah, what, what, yeah, since sure. everyone else knows how to do it. Great. So, Leo, sorry. Yeah, I'm Leonardo Teixeira, one of the Pentacle tutors, and I'm based in, in Portugal. Great, thank you, thank you. Macaron, hey, good to see Hi. you. Hi. What Yo, time good is evening, it? Guys. <laughs> it's about <laughs> 10 p.m. Past it's 10. only evening for you, Macaron. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Late evening, yeah. <laughs> so, hi guys, my name is Macaron. I am uh, kind of a newbie, but getting old in the cube uh, <laughs> lingo. So, looking forward to this one hour today with everyone. <laughs> You never oh, age great. in the cube, Macaron. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're, you're Why do you think Eddie looks the way he does? Chris? Chris? Ho, ho, ho. I'm oh, from oh, Blackland, oh, and oh. I've been getting all the presents ready. I've had a really busy day just wrapping all the presents up and getting the reindeer ready for a week's time. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much, Chris. Sarah? I can't follow that. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm in the snowy mountains, though, so um, it's kind of Christmassy up here. Um, looking forward to another another fun session. Thanks. Where, where, where's the snowy mountains? <laughs> Austria, where are the South snowy Austria. Mountains? Austria, whoa. Yeah. Okay, great, Tam. Uh, so I've just, I'm Tam Watch on. I've discovered you can be who you want to be on Cube. So today, if you look at my t shirt, I am channeling my inner Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> That's really terrible. That's <laughs> don't, have, don't say you've got any ideas because I would just say they're rubbish. <laughs> Brilliant. DW. <laughs> Hi there, uh, I'm David Wainwright, as you've just heard, most people call me DW on Cube. Um, I'm, like Josh, one of the 
a Pentacle admin team, so if you need any help, just send me a private text and I'll come and give you a hand. Brilliant, thank you. So, James, since you're new, uh, that was what we call spinning. So we just lit, run through the list right. of names, you know, in, in sequence. So it, you'll see for the rest of the session, we'll say, let's spin. And then everyone will just talk. We won't have to call out the names because they'll be watching or the, where they are in the sequence. So just so you know. Um, sorry, Chris, should we do Hopes and Fears now? Sorry about earlier. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Cheers, yeah. thanks. I was too keen. Okay, before we get to, uh, you know, a book-sized notes, why don't we get started? Are you okay to lead the fears, Eddie, or should I do it? Oh, Leo, I'm, I'm tired. You've got to do all of it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll ask Tam to organize the hopes in the meantime. So. Well, why didn't you get Mac to do it? Why didn't you get Mac oh, to do it? Oh, of course. Macron, please. If, you, if you're happy to organize the hopes, that would be great. I'll start with okay. the fears. You know, and by the way, we always start with the fears because we want to make sure that we deal with them beforehand. I don't know, James and others, I mean, James, because you're a first timer. I don't know if you've ever been to those sessions when, when right from the start, you knew something was going wrong. People are talking on the back. Hey, I know it's not going to sure. work. And then in the end, of course, it comes true. Yeah. And then people say, why didn't you say anything? Oh, I did tell to you know, whoever was sitting next to me. So that's why we start, start <laughs> dealing with it right now. So having a weak network today, fearing I might get bumped off. Oh, that's you, Mac. Yeah. Why are you concerned here? What, 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 what can we do about it? Mac, you just got to pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have paid the bills. <laughs> You'll be fine then. Uh, oh, the Professor uh, Chris Oliver's, yeah, hopefully you get this sorted, you know, it's either bike or slate, so... Slay, slay, slay will be off. fine. <laughs> Someone has too much eggnog and falls over, oh, Josh, <laughs> why would anyone ever have eggnog, at, you know, it's apart from <laughs> Mac? It's tradition. That's, oh, is it? Uh, that's why. Is, does that replace it's the afternoon Christmas tea then? In the UK. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so let's so keep up the pace already, then. Leo. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, not enough time. Yeah, let's go quicker. Might have to rush off mm. to collect my wife from the station. Oh, Jonathan. There is a mm. thing called Uber. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Uh, might yes. need to drop I'm out sure just she'd really appreciate that. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> oh, oh here and James has might need to drop off just after five. A strain's not <laughs> working again. Oh dear. <laughs> Where are they on James, strike? James is a this thing time? called cube. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, this is true. But I'm not sitting at home though, unfortunately. Good news, everything we do here stays here, James. So you can always come back, have a look at the notes and catch up on what you missed. Let me pass over to you, Mac, on the hopes. Yep, thank you, Leo. So, obviously everybody's on... Uh, 
something festive uh, to do. I'm not able to know who this is. So. Start with me, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, micro habits. Uh, I want to learn those. Those are mine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have fun with mince, mince pies at the least. <laughs> More strange British. That was me again. Meat. Sorry. This, this, this is a theme. <laughs> Sam wants to have a relaxed and fun session. Starting to have that. <laughs> I leave after a crazy day, Sarah. I f Lego yeah. for everyone. <laughs> Chris. There's never enough There's Lego. Never enough Lego. Yeah. Never enough he's, Lego. Got the good, he's got a goodie bag, so I think he'll do that for us. He'll <laughs> inspire. <laughs> Press control, right? All. So if you just click it, it'll tell you. Yeah. Oh, that's Single click. Yo. Yeah, that's okay. Leo. Yeah, did a leadership session, team event about giving, so hope this is learning and have fun. And that is James. Yeah. I think that's about, I think, yeah, that's about it. The, the mood is to have fun. Cool. So let's do a quick spin to see if we're good to yeah. go. Start with you, David Wainwright, and then go down the list. Yep. Yep, good. Yep, good. James. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Going down. So Jason. Jonathan. Yep. Yeah, ready to launch. Josh. Good. I'm good to go. Yep. Yeah. Mac. Yep. Ready. Ready to have fun. Okay. Chris. Slay's ready. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Okay, so if you come to the uh, small discussion board with me, I'll just uh, update us a little bit. We wanted to share sort of some stuff about. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was trigger finger. Sorry about that. <laughs> I promise I wouldn't do it again. I, so James, what happened was, if you right click on a place and choose meteor, it moves everyone. And I, I uh, sort of was, uh, I was just naughty and I moved everyone. <laughs> and I always do this, so I get into trouble. So today, apparently, it's me. Yay! Okay. Um, the bad news is I also might have to disappear towards the end. So if I disappear, it's not because I'm not happy with you guys. It's just because I had to disappear. But I'll be here in spirit. Um, oh, I'll leave my you, you have another job as uh, you have another job as a, an Uber driver, Eddie. Is that? Is I, that... I do. <laughs> I'm going to pick up your wife actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> yeah. breaking news! Breaking news! <laughs> this is very exciting for all of us. Uh, Tammy has has managed to uh, get this wonderful interview. If you want to get closer, you know how to get closer in the um, the uh, Scottish uh, Times. Oh, wow. future very exciting stuff uh, and uh, that's the front cover of the document and the article itself is just to your right so if you step back you can step forward again and it's called meeting in four dimensions tell me i like mm. the fact the picture's got people everyone's standing in front of a mirror so all the logos are back to front i think that's quite cool <laughs> and it's got a christmas Ooh. tree and it's got okay, a christmas tree <laughs> I, th I think we recycled the penguins from that. <laughs> okay, so, so that, that's one piece of news. If you step back to the uh, small discussion board, the other two bits of news which I want to share with you quickly are... Uh, and by the way, James, that... if you think that people are in front of you, don't worry, just go forward, you know, you won't, uh, okay. you won't yeah, hurt them. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were, you know, stepping behind <laughs> them, pretty would push someone, don't worry. <laughs> Okay. So with this one, I, I, I am going to drag you because I just want to tell you, we have, we are just starting to wrap Cube 3.5 Campus Edition. <laughs> David and the guys have done a great job. So it's going to go live. We're hoping we can use it for Sim, uh, Sir Tim Smith's uh, inspirational talk in January. So that's the plan. So let me just take you around it. So this is the, the, the new integrated campus. So the idea, as you might know, is that we're going to uh, help people understand how to use the whole Q campus rather than just get stuck in one room. Uh, so the clients will buy a campus. The campus has got pentacle space. It's got office space for their managers, got a big conference area and so on. So that's the, wow. the, the idea. 
um, and um, the detail of the lobby so you can get much closer in obviously so the way it will look there's changes to look feel which you'll you'll love first of all it's faster second it's, mm. second it's there's, there's all sorts of bits in there which are great so the login which people usually only see once will have the campus on it the thing we've added is we've added the fact they have to tick i accept terms and conditions and this will stay but they have to do that every single time before they come in so that when we get people coming in quotes brand new uh, at least we know that they're covering all the elements about you know making sure that no one can hack and stuff so it's a really useful security thing which i think everyone's going to be happy about uh, mm. Then we've got a new lobby, and the new lobby, uh, you'll be really happy to hear, has got, this is some of DW's work, embedded pets. So even if you're not in a cubicle, you get the embedded pet. If you select the pet, you get the image of the pet, you get a quick guide below with an explanation of what it is and how to do it. So if you're there and you've got people who are not on Cube and you want, you're talking to them in a room, you can still use the pets as part of your conversation. Then when they come on Cube, they can understand what's going on. Um, the other addition to the lobby, which you'll love, is the little um, Hello World plane, which will sort of give us news uh, on an ongoing basis. So that's going to be quite a dynamic lobby. Um, so we've still got the pets there, we've got people list, we've got all the cubicles and the new campus uh, layout. Uh, the biggest change to the uh, internal browser which you guys will see is um, the pickup icon which is let me see if I can find the pickup icon for you it is here can you see the little grabby hand that's probably the biggest change from 3.4 at this level uh, so it'll mean you can pick up and move out objects without having to right click and stuff like that so it's easier to get people to move penguins and all these funny things around mm. um, so that's that's probably the biggest change in this particular one the one which will trip you up is we've also moved the uh, help icon and put it in the next to the go to lobby icon so those two have been flipped around so watch mm. out for that as well so those are the two interface ones, but there's just so much programming and stuff behind it. So uh, that's the next piece of news, and I'm going to step us back, and then I'll tell you the third bit of news, which is we have signed a new contract with Novartis, which is the world's Yay! largest pharmaceutical oh, product. No. But the bit I really want to share with you is Microsoft went to them, giving them free options, on, and really sort of giving them the money on their new Learning Bright uh, learning platform. And they looked at it and said, all it is is software. It doesn't change culture. It doesn't change behavior. They've come with us. So that's really Yay. brilliant. Well done. Yay. Brilliant. <laughs> so that's, oh. that's all the good news here. <laughs> so yeah. So, so we've been Microsoft. Roll, keep users. <laughs> <laughs> that's great stuff. OK, so um, I forgot what we're going to do next. Learning, review. Can I do a little spiel on learning? And then we can move yeah. forward. So mm -hmm. if we if we wonder to view presentation, um, yeah, sorry, there was a, a lovely video playing, sorry, but, but DW me. turned it off. <laughs> okay, so, so the, uh, the, the the key thing which we wanted to do at this stage was um, was just to to set in context the whole thing about learning, and we have a slideshow which is quite useful just for exploring learning. Some of you, oh, you might have seen this. If, if if you've seen it, just pretend that you know it and, and join in. But I'll tell you a story about learning, and then it'll help us look at how we're going to review the year. So the reason there are two minis up here is because I learned how to drive in the olden days when the mini cars were actually mini. Um, and in those <clears throat> good olden days, um, one of the things which happened was the cars were so small that when you got into them, literally your knees hit your chin. Is that right, Chris? Do you remember those? Mm. Mm. Yes, I know Chris mm. is old enough to remember it. He's, he's like, yeah, I'm old enough to remember that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so um, I got in for my first driving license, and the instructor said to me, you know, put the key in the ignition and start the car. So I, I put the key into the hole and I <laughs> twisted it, and uh, it made this loud roaring noise. Went, and my instructor said, Get your beep foot off the beep accelerator. So I looked down, I didn't know what an accelerator was, but there were these wooden flappy panels on the floor. And I thought that must be what he's referring to. 
And so I, I lifted my foot off the, the this flappy wooden things, and the noise went. And so guess what I did not next. Guess what I did next. Guess what I did next. I pressed it down again and went. Okay, what I had done there is I had done the first hand learning cycle. Something happened to me. I had some sort of weird experience. Like. Now, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to reflect on it so you can understand it, see what's going on, understand what the uh, situation was and how it all unraveled. Then from that, you're supposed to build in a general theory. If, if I press on it, it makes lots of noise. So some sort of if then, some causality, hopefully without too many biases. By the way, Jason, I've told everyone you're going to tell us about um, uh, learning biases and stuff like that as we go along. So, um, no. And, <laughs> and so once you've got your if then, if it's correct, we, we have to test it. So then try it out and press it. And if it goes, then you go, yes, I learned the right thing. And that's your first time learning cycle. I never got a chance to reflect because my instructor said to me, get your B foot off the B, B, uh, accelerator. But that's what's supposed to happen. We have a quiz we use at Pentacle. We're not going to do that. But we are just going to point out that everyone has a different profile. Uh, some people love the experience. Some people love the experience and they love to plan to test it. We have uh, names for those people. If you've ever seen a Batman and Robin film, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The Bat phone goes, hey, it's Commissioner Gordon. Hey, Penguin's stolen all the jewels. Batman jumps in, runs around, biffs, bash, bosh, sticks the Penguin in jail. As soon as he gets there, the Bat light goes, oh, it's Catwoman. Catwoman's turned everyone into mice. You know, he runs around, biff, bat. I've never seen Cat Batman and Robin ever stop and reflect and say, I wonder why there's so many weird crooks in Gotham <laughs> City. <laughs> Maybe it's because of something we're doing with the food. You know, they never build a theory, they never reflect. And you'll find some people are like that. They just run from one to the other. If you like this, if this is you, you're going to struggle today because we're going to ask you to reflect hard on what's happened last year. Um, that's going to be grim. Okay, so that's one style. There's another style here, which is uh, people spend all their time reflecting and coming up with theories, but actually they never got involved in the experience and they never actually test it. This is what we really <laughs> refer to as the sort of the dusty manager who sits in mm -hmm. the, the office writing <laughs> spreadsheets and telling people what should happen and new processes, but never follows through or never actually connects them to reality. That's obviously no one here, otherwise they wouldn't be on cube. We don't let them in. Uh, and then, of course, there are other profiles of which um, the key one is um, this one where they build the theory and they plan it and they test it, but they never get out into the real world. And this is, um, you know who this is. Big Bang Theory, always talking, always talking theory, never actually doing anything with it. We wanted Sheldon, but we thought Sheldon was a bit of a win. Um, and then, of course, there is the wonderful experience reflect, but never learn anything from it, which we describe as Mr. Bean. But this is just a bit of fun. Um, the real thing is to say that what we're going to be doing here is reflecting. So we've got a large workshop whiteboard and we've put the four quarters of uh, this year on there. And what we were hoping you could do is just take yourself back, maybe open up your diary or think back to January last year. What were you doing in January last year? What did you do in February? And just see whether there are any key things which happened last year which you just want to highlight. And then once we've highlighted and got those, we're going to then take you through to um, think about something called an action replay, which will then let you sort of start to build patterns out of out of that. Um, if you come to the large workshop whiteboard, Leo, should we put the stuff onto blank pets, and then it'll be easy just to drag them onto um, onto yeah. action replays? Would that work? Yeah. Okay. So James, if you don't know what's happening, what Leo's doing is there is a yeah. Um, green question mark where the help is. You remember where we found the selfie? To the mm -hmm. left of that, there's like a Parthenon sign. Mm -hmm. And then to the left of that, there's a yellow folder. Click on that mm -hmm. yellow folder. That gives you a list of all the documents in this cubicle. Mm -hmm. And so if you click on the name, like type into the search blank, B-L-A-N. And you see it says blank pet. Mm -hmm. Click on the word blank pen and drag that word onto the whiteboard in front of you. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how he's getting the documents okay. onto, the, onto the whiteboard. So we've got January, February, March. We've got April, May, June. We've got July, August, September. And we've got October, November, December. Start wherever you want. 
Um, there is a good method which says if you want to remember unusual things, start with today and work your way backwards. So you can say, I went in December, what happened in November? Hmm. And what happened before that? And that's another way of trying to review things. So if we give ourselves a good mm, three, four minutes of write first, talk second. How would you like us to organize ourselves, Eddie? Oh, go wherever you want. This is a free format. Because okay. we're just dumping our key, key learnings. OK. So James, to decide where you want to go, and then just double click on the poster, and that will zoom you in. OK. Oh. You're starting your own. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's just one. Yeah. So if you step back, step back. you'll see that there's a July, August one. Ah, uh, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You can have your own if you want. <laughs> yeah. So to get closer, go for the yellow triangle. Yellow triangle. There you go.
We also have enough to start some memories here, Eddie. I missed that, sorry. <laughs> we have enough content to write somebody's memories in here. <laughs> <laughs> we still got one more minute, Leo. Don't okay. be. <laughs> and Jonathan is going to be look out at all the typos. Jonathan. There are no typos. Nice one. <laughs> Hi, Elvin. Elvin. Everyone's behind you. We're just capturing what the year was last year. So if you turn around using the A or the D key, or the arrow left or right. Oh, no one. <laughs> there you go, like magic. They're all behind you. So you'll see that they're, they're just all scribbling. We've got January, February and we're just saying what things happened during your year so if you double click on or click on the yellow triangle above the posters just mouse over and you'll be able to start adding stuff and then we're going to share brilliant everyone Elvin Price has joined us Hi, Elvin. Hello. I think Elvin's mic's still off Elvin your mic's on in the bottom left hand corner where the headset is just a single click and then we'll hear every the opposite tone of your voice. Okay, it's okay. Sorry about that. Thank you. That's okay. Great. Okay, um, Okay, give it another second, we'll call it there. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, flashing lights mean we're all going to gather. So, I think the idea was that what we do next is uh, Leo's going to change these blank pets into something called an action replay. Then he'll explain the action replay. Uh, and what it's about. So Action Replay is a way of sort of without any blame getting everyone to look at what's gone on and work out you know how to approach it differently and um, once we've done that then we'll move to uh, looking at our own uh, year positioning things and once we've got that in our minds then we'll break into groups and share what our key learnings are. So that's the plan for from now. So really maybe another couple of minutes first with an explanation of what Action Replay is so if you come with me, uh, come with me here. Leo, should I explain it or do you want to do it? Okay, so let's bring them all here. I mean, you're all approaching. James, you can click on this yellow triangle that you yeah, see yeah, above yeah, our yeah, heads. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Everyone else is almost here. So for those of you who are not familiar with the action replay, this is something we tend to do every time when we have you know, a session, an event, or any project, during a project. And pretty much what we do is we capture, as you've all done now, we write first talks, we, we capture all the things that we're planning to do that actually worked, all the things that planned and failed, some of the things that we didn't plan and end up being a misery for everybody, so failed. And there are also a few things which were not planned but ended up working quite well. As you can notice, I'm, I started on a high note, you know, something positive, then went down the hill, kept going down, and then ended on a high. So everybody can leave the review by learning. We also make sure we capture some of the learnings here at the bottom, anything that we find useful. And the way we do it is by making those questions which are here in the middle for each of those learnings. So if it planned at work, is that something we can do? Why did it work? 
it failed why did it fail and so on so we capture to make sure that we learn because again remember smart failure for a fast changing world if you're trying something completely different unlikely if professor chris as a surgeon wanted to do a new procedure for a very basic surgery and ended up you know mm -hmm. doing something badly <laughs> So never happened. Never yeah. happened. Never. You know, he, he always never. follows the procedures because he knows. But you know, but if we're trying something completely different, then we must review and learn and you know see with our our learnings. Uh, for those of you who are new to action replay, does that make any sense, uh, Elvin? Your mic's Elvin off. Elvin, mic's off. James. Yes, it does. Okay. James? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jonathan, uh, uh, Jason. Yep. Jonathan, I think you've used it quite a few times. I've used Mac it. Friend. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Mac. Yeah, I'm I'm familiar with this. Yeah. Okay, Chris. I'm okay. Yeah. Sarah. Yeah, all good. Okay. So Eddie, I think we have. Yeah, I'm fine. Action replacing okay. all of them. Should we try one of them to see? Well, if we get everybody to do their own. I think. So guys, tell me if this will work. So go through, you put the stickies up, go through and work out your own ones, record what actions you want, and then what we'll do, we can do later, Leo, is we can uh, we can put people in groups to discuss what their key learnings were. I think that'll be fun. Okay. Uh, that, it, nod if you agree. If you don't agree, shake your head. Nod means mouse forward and backwards. Shake your head is head, mouse side to side. Some people are nodding. Yep, everyone's good. Let's go for it. Let's spend a couple of minutes. Perfect. Move your own, and then we'll, 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 we'll gather and chat. NDW, just as a reminder, if you got married, that was planned and worked, okay? Uh -huh. Thank you, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I thought it was not planned. It might not be, we don't plan. <laughs> <laughs> Ya, yo creo entonces que deberíamos eh, validar si por alguna y que nos comenten. Yo no sé si hemos solicitado la, la explicación de. Yeah, Elwin, si if you step back to the place called eh, Large Workshop eh, Whiteboard, you'll we'll be able to just click on the signs with your courses and see what other people are working on. Okay. On the right hand side of your screen, places list to find Large sí, Workshop Whiteboard. And just click on any of the signs that have January, February, March, April, May, June, etc. And you'll zoom in to where they're working. Okay. Click on the yellow triangle above the poster and you'll zoom in. I see a lot of planned and worked. Okay, let's uh, let's rock and roll if we're close. So just make sure you've got in your mind um, what your key thing is, why it went wrong, etc. So hopefully. Okay. 
Leo, if I bring up some partitions, we can break into groups and we can do some land by sharing. That would be great. So I'm going to ask groups? everybody to come back to the large workshop whiteboard. Sorry about the dragging, everyone. Um, How many groups? Do you have? We will have three groups. Five or three. three groups, okay. Three groups. So we go for first names A to H, I to P, and Q to Z. So if your first name goes all the way until. Oh, Jason? <laughs> Jonathan, I'm going to ask you to go to I to P, if that's okay. I think Jonathan may have gone to pick his wife up because he's just set the oh. door away. Okay, cool. That's good, good for him. Okay. Great. Okay, I'm going to go to A to H. Okay. I'll join I to P. DW, can you go Q to Z? Uh, sure. Tam is there. Tam is there. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I'll let Tam deal with it. <laughs> My biggest surprise. Should I go first? Or I'll go first. Are we supposed to discuss? Or just like. I'm not sure. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I will help you. I think it said discuss, but. Hmm. Okay. So usually we capture first and then we type second. So okay. any learnings we've had, so make sure you use stickies for capturing. Big, big surprises. What have you learned and how do you think you can apply it? You're all autonomous, you have stickies. Okay, so I see some stickies here from Mac, James, from Jason. It's good. Elwin, if you want, you can also do the same. And usually capture some of surprises, key learnings, and how do you think you can use it in the future? I'm gonna lock it now so people don't move it. I know it's not on purpose. Losing weight is a big surprise. That's a cool one. <laughs> I expect that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's start sharing then. Uh, let, let's start with James. And, and my suggestion is, if you know, refer to something, you, you, you shake the, the sticky so people can see what you're talking about. Sure. So click and hold the, the mouse as a... Yeah, well done. Good. So, yes. so, so I think we're we're doing some work with the leadership team, and I think um, what's kind of come out of that is uh, the lack of accountability that's felt within the team. Um, I think what I learnt um, through doing sort of one-to-one -one interviews is that, uh, well, not that it was said, but it was inferred, was the the amount of fear within the team, the fear of failure, failure. which is driving the lack of accountability. So next year, you know, we need to focus on working with the team to build trust and also a little bit of taking them through uh, what we call the storming phase. So, you know, they've gone through a little bit the norming, but um, not necessarily the storming and they need to go through that to build trust. So that's that's going to be my focus next year. Thank you. Well done. Uh, Jason? 
Um, yeah, uh, one of mine is a bit of a strange one, but the concept of logical fallacies. Um, uh, so it's something we experience every day, and I've never heard the label logical fallacies, but it's ultimately where you're having a discussion, an argument, questioning things. People know they're wrong, but will use um, different logical fallacies to win their argument or put their point across. Again, it's, I sound negative. It's not necessarily from an argument point of view, but it could be in a sales cycle mm. or just whatever. But um, we all do it. We all experience it. But because I've never seen a label to it, I just didn't realize it was happening. Um, to give an example, it would be, for example, appealing to authority. So you might say, I don't know, the ozone layer is perfectly intact. And someone will say, well, no, it's not. And then you'll go, well, actually, no, I know this professor at Oxford University. And yeah, he's <laughs> studying it. And yeah, he said it is. And he's a really good friend. And <laughs> you've then thrown in this logical <laughs> fallacy where people say, ah, yeah, you know, this professor, you must know what you're talking about. And, and there's, I mean, if you just Google it, there's a whole list of the different types of logical fallacy. And it's quite eye-opening when you realize mm. the way we use um, language and the number of these things we do on a daily basis and don't actually under, not understand, but don't realize it's happening because it's just part of our culture and nature. Mm. So, yeah, a small thing. Uh, I guess I sort of came across a bit because of the whole Brexit stuff. Um, <laughs> but moving on. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just watch out for it. But it's quite mm. entertaining when you read the different types of logical fallacy. Cool. Nice. Mac? Yep. Uh, so I realize a lot of unplanned things worked out really well, uh, which was a good thing. Uh, what I learned was that that's a bit risky, because if it wouldn't have, then things could have been shaky. Uh, so what can I do in the future? Have a solid plan, though keep on welcoming good surprises throughout the year. Uh, the good bit was I lost weight because I started gymming consistently and I think consistently pay ways off. I was surprised because that was not the plan. It was just to get back in shape. No complaints. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, changing habits is not easy. Yeah. Usually yes. pays off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're just about to join the others. Um, okay. Uh, James, is that okay since you're first session here to quickly share with them? Because yeah. we, we, we asked the same from the other groups. You can quickly yeah, share sure. what we were discussing here. So I'm going to flash sure. the lights. You can see the lights being flashed. If you want to go to Gathering Circle, that's where I'm going to actually take us all. Program. Oh well, it's okay. Ooh, it's just... no, oh, that's not fun. Mm. So we're enjoying ourselves. That's right. good. Yeah. I know. Well, mm. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask one person per group to share what you're up to. So I'm gonna start with ours. I'm gonna start with James. Then I'll go to Tams and then Eddie's. So James. Okay. Sure. So I think, um, sure, so I think um, there's a couple of things shared. So one was around um, unplanned work. And um, that, that uh, kind of learning was uh, that's a bit risky. Um, so, uh, but I think um, kind of the action was that um, that uh, I think recognise that if you're getting success, that's great. But it, it may be that um, <laughs> might want to plan things a little bit more. Um, and then I think um, the other thing was. Um, yeah, just uh, some work with the senior leadership team and, and lack of accountability. The learning was that, um, that you know, that's, that's being driven by fear. So the action was to um, to try and build some trust within the team. So uh, I think that's kind of the, sum the summary from some, um, some of the conversation in our group. Brilliant. Thanks. Uh, Tam, uh, I think Sarah was with you. Should I speak on her? And Jonathan, yeah, and I took yes. over that session, so one, uh, one of those should be back, I think. <laughs> no, you go for it, Tam. We could, I, we, I, could, I can do it justice. No, I want to see if you were listening. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, yeah, you oh, no, I'm not yet. Tam, Tam, Tam was rubbish, really. <laughs> no, no, I, I think, I think the thing that I, I really 
got out of what Tam was saying was was um, the importance of, of um, the perspective you have on 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 how you plan and what you're doing. Um, and and there were a couple of things that that struck me about the sort of personal aspect of it, Tam. Um, the fact that changing changing your role is 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 less frightening than you thought it might be. Um, understanding that your personal skills and your willingness to be to have some kind of brass neck is important and and then the point which i know you struggled to to articulate but this this idea of it's actually all about you it's not about a piece of kit or it um people by people um mm. it was the human element that kind of shone through in what you were saying i think for me anyway, i'm nearly done sarah i don't know you may have got a different a different different view oh, absolutely absolutely it's, and nice. it's, i think it's a really brave thing to do as well <laughs> <laughs> breaking out and doing something for you and obviously something that really inspires you so it's, it's great thank you eddie and from your team from your group uh uh chris you want to go because yours yeah, was much wiser I'm, than I'm, mine well no i just had an experience and i've retired this year and i from january you know i'd stopped working a year ago almost today and uh just coping with retirement and having roles in life changing and identities changing and trying to keep your head together and i'd thought about retirement for a while and um kind of pre-planned some of it and moved house and changed roles and things and it was just about all about coping during the year and just never stopped learning really that's what, i think that's what i said perfect yeah that was it that's exactly it so I have to I have to uh, say just one word and say well actually it's four words. The mm. first two are Merry Christmas everybody, and the last one is Bye. <laughs> bye, Eddie. Bye, Eddie. Bye, Eddie. Bye. bye, Eddie. bye. 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 Have you. a good one. Cheers. Neil, can bye. you record it for me? I'll come back and listen. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Mm. Bye. Cheers. Okay. Tam, you're leading your group. What do you suggest oh. we do next? <laughs> uh, do you want to do the ha do you want, We were going to do habits, weren't we? Yeah, habits. Should we do habits? I've got a good habit story. Okay. Does anyone want to start a new habit next year? Learn something and do it every day? Mm. Yes, please. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to do. It's so a trick go. question. Uh, yeah, really hard to do, but I actually, and it's it, it's another, well, so I'm channeling Eddie again here, because Eddie told me to do this, and it's the only one that I've got it to work on. Let's go over to Lodge Workshop Whiteboard again. Um, and we have this very cool pet called Habits, funnily enough. <laughs> Quite often there's a clue in the title, so let's zoom in on this. Um, so you probably all know it's really hard to um, form new habits. Uh, going to the gym, you're going to do your press-ups every day, or I keep saying I'm going to do uh, Pilates and do a few sit-ups before I go down and make coffee when I'm working at my desk, and it's really, really hard to do it. So there's, and this is from uh, BJ Fogg. I don't, does anyone know BJ Fogg? Have you come across his TED talk? No. no. Nope. It's really worth looking up because it yes, really yeah. explains yeah, how you can do it. So first you describe the outcome you want. What is it you're trying to achieve? Uh, and you know, it might be to lose weight or get fitter or uh, cut down on your drinking or stop eating all the mince pies at Christmas. Um, I don't know what it is. You then need to think about how motivated you are, you are to do it. So why do you want to do it? There needs to be a reason to do it and how easy it will be be to do it so make it really small don't try and you know if you're losing weight don't aim for losing three stone in the first week make it make it easy um, something that's achievable describe the behavior and then and this is the key bit you need to find a trigger that you can tie it into something you do so I know the BJ Fogg one I think he was trying to uh, again it was a health thing he was trying to do press-ups or sit-ups every day and he just couldn't get into the habit so he would do it before he put his socks on so before he opened the sock drawer to put his socks on in the morning mm. he did his 10 press-ups and so you get into the habit of doing it by being triggered by something you're already doing so you have to find something you're already doing 
and so I've tried this on loads of things. I haven't quite got the Pilates, but um, I have really, really flat feet. <laughs> I'm like a Sasquatch. My feet are just enormous flat plates of meat. So I wear, um, I used to wear orthotics until Eddie, and again, channeling in at Eddie says, do not wear them, they're rubbish. You need to build your arches. Nobody's ever told me that you could build natural arches if you've got flat feet. So I wanted to uh, build natural arches. So I didn't have to wear these horrendous things in my shoes and my running would be much better. Um, I'm motivated by it because A, it causes pain. It means I have to buy um, bigger shoes so my feet look even bigger than they already are. <laughs> um, and it costs money to get new orthotics every year, um, all of that kind of stuff. So it was a real, and I wanted my running to improve. And I knew they were getting in the way because they were stopping me run, running in a really good way. So it needed to be easy. It needed to be regular, short exercises. So it needed to not take any time. Uh, be really fast, something I could do. And uh, the behaviour was that I would do it daily. So I needed to do this daily. Uh, and I needed to not think about it. It needed to just be part of my regular routines of something. Uh, so I wasn't thinking about it. And the thing... Uh, one thing you can do, this is maybe going too much information, one thing you can do is stand on a mat and scrunch your feet and pull the mat towards you with your toes and it starts to build your arches up. So if anyone's got flat feet, give it a go because mm. it's really easy to do. So I th figured the best place to do that, do that was when I was cleaning my teeth because I'm standing on the bath mat in the bathroom. So cleaning my teeth, I'm scrunching my feet for however long you clean your teeth for, two minutes every day. So I don't even notice I'm doing it. So it's a really, really good, you know, and, and it's because I'm not thinking about it, it's just part of, you don't think about cleaning your teeth every morning, you get out of the shower and clean your teeth, it's just a habit you form. So tying it into a habit that you already have becomes the trigger to do it so that it becomes the routine so, and it meets the needs that you have. So that is how to um, create new habits. It's dead easy. <laughs> <laughs> quick spin uh, to see if it makes sense yeah. <laughs> starting from the bottom Sarah does it sound easy <laughs> does, it, does it sound easy nothing's easy <laughs> well done does it make sense then Chris um, uh, Santa says yes <laughs> <laughs> Mac you're inspired so with the fact story. So, so one thing which I which I, I learned today was I, I get a lot of things in my life unplanned, surprises. And mm. my son has got flat feet and he keeps complaining about it and I just found a solution for this. So thank you, Tam. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Josh. So yeah, and th th yeah, I've heard his talk, uh, uh, BJ Fox, so I, I'm, a, I'm a bit familiar with this, yes. Uh, yeah, I find it really interesting. Um, again, through Eddie, I've sort of heard about these habit-forming things before. I think, yeah, the key thing for me is is that breaking it down into a small chunk. So one of the ones I can't, I think it might have been B.J. Fogg himself said he had a sort of a prompt of like every time he went to wash his hands, he would do like five press-ups or ten press-ups or whatever because you know it didn't matter he was touching the floor, he was going to wash his hands anyway. And it was something very small, but he had that regular prompt that would that would keep coming up, you know, multiple times a day. Hmm. Hmm. Jonathan. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was very good. I've got to, I've got to think of a habit now to, to give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Jason. Yep, makes sense. Um, seems pretty straightforward. So yeah, I'll give it a go. Elvin. Um, no, I like it. I'm I'm observing and I'm learning, so I like it. Okay. Andy W. Yes. Uh, yeah, I have a bit of familiarity with with BJ Fogg stuff as well. I do think it's it's very interesting. Um, I think from my experience, finding the trigger is definitely the most important part. It's very tricky. If you're if you're not doing something kind of automatic, so yeah, but it, it, it does fall apart without it. Okay, Tam, should we should we encourage people to think about a habit to change? 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, if you can all step back to the large workshop whiteboard, I'm going to help you to do it. <laughs> This is more like an individual thing. We can ask people to group, change it, you know, unless you're married to someone and, and they're here. <laughs> 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 so. And if you do it now, you will have done your New Year's resolution before New Year. Well done, yeah. good one. So if you're okay, you, you can take a blank <laughs> one. There are five on the large workshop whiteboard. I'll, I'll copy, I'll paste a few more in case they're all taken and give it a go. Try to work on your new year resolution. Or cheat by looking at someone else's, which is also fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then find that you've delivered someone else's habit next year. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs>
How did you like it, Tam? Found a way of doing it. Sounds like we're getting there, Tam. Sounds like we have a few things. Should we gather, do a final spin to see if New Year resolutions came alive to everyone? If you're speaking, Tam, we can't hear you. Tam's mic's turned off just at the moment. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm talking away. That's because <laughs> the dogs are caught. Um, I'm interested in Sarah, hearing more about Sarah's trigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should we gather in a circle for a final spin and, you know, perhaps... Oh, there's a penguin. Oh. Penguin. <laughs> we need a picture of you, Chris, next to a penguin in the tree. Oh, I've, got, I've got something else I could bring in for a lovely picture with Chris. <laughs> Reindeer. <laughs> I want a harem of penguins. <laughs> okay, so so. I think it was useful. I, I'm really into getting back to Pilates. I know it's good for me. I just don't find some mm. time, and now I, I, I think I, I got it. <laughs> I'll let you know next year if it worked. <laughs> uh, DW, any, any anything, any any comments, thoughts, final words? I, I was just kind of having a look at everyone else's whilst you were whilst you were getting on. Just some interesting things. Um, like I said, I think the, the trigger is quite tricky to find if it's not something autom automatic, but uh, there are some interesting interesting thoughts going up. So. Okay. Uh, Elvin seems to be away. Jason? Yeah, I mean, for mine, quite easy. Lose weight, quite standard for many people, <laughs> just for general health. And for me, the trigger is easy um, in this case because it's just when I go to lunch, don't buy a donut, don't buy crisps, and <laughs> <laughs> easy. <laughs> so, just got to be disciplined for now. <laughs> oh, you let us know if it was easy enough. Well, do. Not, you don't try to reduce everyone. Perhaps it's just the donuts or stick to one of them. <laughs> yeah, just one. One thing will make a difference over a year. <laughs> okay. Uh, Josh. Yeah, sorry, I was I was doing some stuff in the background, so I didn't do my own habit one. Um, I've actually been quite good at forming some new habits recently, but I I think I need one for my emails, my personal emails, because they, they get on top of me very quickly. So, you know, I need to find out what would be a good trigger for sort of, you know, replying to emails and getting them sorted. So Just I'll go with pals on Cube, and then you won't need email. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, it's my personal email, because that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> all these companies that send me mailing lists that uh, send me newsletters I don't want that I need to unsubscribe from so I can get the things I actually need Mac? Yep, so uh, I've been trying to write my blog regularly for the last two years and I just got a trigger that I meditate daily so if I could jot points after my meditation and every Saturday I write a blog after meditation 
I think that could do it. So mm. hopefully, I should also be able to give an update at the end of next year. <laughs> well, nice. That's a nice one, Chris. Santa. Um, yeah, I I'm I need to maintain my weight, and uh, I was good this year. I was rowing, and I've just dropped off the rowing. And I was I was just going on a row machine. I need to get back on the row machine. So I'll I'll do that, but I'll have to ritualize it, and. Um, perhaps not leave the house till I've been rowing or I think that's the way I'll have to do it. Mm. Have to have a trigger to do that. Sarah. Yeah, so sitting at the desk all day, um, it's the combination of exercise and healthy eating is the goal. Um, and I guess there are two things there. So the action is um, on the exercise thing, I've always tried to put a blocker in my calendar at lunchtime to get away from that desk, get some fresh air if the weather allows, um, or get on the exercise bike or do something because it just really helps the whole coming back to your desk. You feel refreshed, but it's just finding that time. So yeah, the trigger has got to be, you know, putting that putting that blocker in and sticking to it. Um, and that's that's the hard thing, like because things just get in the way, and it's just making sure you're disciplined. Um, and the the healthy eating bit is a you know, similar thing, right? You hide anything that's not healthy. You make sure there's plenty of healthy snacks around, and that's the start. And that's why, Sam, I put my husband as my trigger because he's an, because he's an absolute sweetheart, and he does all that stuff for me. I'm very spoiled. He chops up fruit and puts it in bowls for me and, and leaves my breakfast out in the morning and all that kind of thing. So he's my key to this. You know, he's the trigger. If, if he does all that stuff for me, then it happens. Um, if he doesn't, then I'm, I'm a lazy so-and-so. You can blame him. So, <laughs> you can blame him. <laughs> Brilliant. Exactly. And ten. Oh, I didn't think of another one. Do I need to have another one? I'm going to keep building my arches. See next. This time How's your next new year, arches? Are, are, are they? My my feet are going to be like size three this time next year. They're going to have shrunk so much with the the arches oh. that are built up. <laughs> you'll be six foot four because you'll be so much taller with your arch feet. I did well on on the the things we were doing the things that have happened this year. I did become the king of Dunald. There is a mm. footprint in the top of an old hill fort that's like I don't know, year two hundred or something, and it's got a footprint. And the person whose foot fitted that became the king, and my foot was a perfect size. So yeah, that was a king. Congratulations, king foot size. Your Majesty. Then. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's how big my feet are. Okay, what I'm going to ask us to do before we leave, you know, just considering it's Christmas, I'm going to create a new place called Christmas. <laughs> so if you can all join me at a place called Christmas, and I'm going to ask someone to take a snapshot. Oh, is that something? Um, Did you have a plan there, DW? <laughs> oh. No, that's nothing to do with me. I'm just a bit concerned about what's happened to the floor over there. <laughs> Okay. Cool. Oh, God. oh dear. Okay, but can can we still no. take a snapshot of the? No. Somebody killed oh, everything. Man. Is somebody made a giant penguin? Okay. Are we inside a giant <laughs> penguin? Yeah, we're inside, <laughs> we're inside, inside a giant penguin. Inside a giant penguin. Oh, dear. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm gonna I'm gonna go outside the. I'm gonna ask the people to undo. Of this. If you think you did it. You can you can click on the red arrow pointing to the left oh, on the can, bottom can you left. Give me just a second, Leo, because I want to get a picture of this. Go ahead. So that I can show the rest of you. Uh, oh, dear. So one on Sorry, Leo. <laughs> the penguin I didn't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 that is fantastic. I can't. I can't even. I can't even go back far enough to take in the entire penguin. It's that big. <laughs> see if I can... I'm going up to the roof to see what's. Uh... It really is a giant penguin. Uh, no, right. I'm curious as well. I'm, oh, I'm oh, taking a picture. Into my ear, that big. I can't. I can't undo it. <laughs> That's Sorry, okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to. Unfortunately, oh no, it's gone. There you go. You Aww. did it. I I realised I could. I rescaled it to a hundred times its size. <laughs> <laughs> Attack of yes. the giant penguin. <laughs> I won't do it again. Okay. So, 
who can take a, perhaps we can take a snapshot if we, if we all manage to come here to the place called Christmas. Oh, that's a Christmas. nice picture, Joe. Oh yeah, there we go. Place called Christmas. Nice picture, Josh. <laughs> So you can oh, just nice. you can just about see uh, at the bottom that's the that's the corner of the room with the penguin towering over it. Do I see it? Where's that shot on the screen? Yeah, if you go to view presentation, that's the picture I took of the giant penguin. That's as far back as I could get. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said we have to have fun. <laughs> We can tweet that one. Brilliant. So, so Josh, would that be okay for you to take a snapshot of us? I mean, it seems like the cube goes in editable mode. <laughs> so where, where is that? If we can all go to a place called Christmas, what Josh will do is no. he'll be able to take a snapshot with the um, what's it called? It's the object. Christmas tree behind us. Well, you have to drag us to Christmas. Oh. oh. Nice. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, but he helped. Oh, reindeer! You've got a doppelganger, Chris. Oh, oh, that's what that was. Oh. Flying reindeer. Oh, they're flying. Brilliant. Okay, I'll bring everybody to Christmas, and then Josh, you you can step yeah. back. You could also take a selfie if you were so inclined. You can do that by clicking on the camera icon next next to the uh, little pet library and selecting take a selfie. Get in there. Okay, everybody smile. Just a sec. Cheese! No oh, Leo, you moved right in front of me <laughs> just before I took that. So take another one. Okay. You have Second lots go. of... There we go. Okay, I'm trying to film. <laughs> Yay. Yay, everybody. Merry yeah. Christmas. Merry and Christmas. Hopefully Merry you Christmas. all have a great yeah, 2019 and we'll see each other. Well, was again on Sir Tim Smith's in January. Oh, yes, you so. must come to Tim Smith. Yeah, look forward to that. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. 17th of January, 12.30 UK time. That will be. I'll put that in the chat as well. Mm. Uh, thank you, Josh.